The other owners for Grimnir, we have uh, Logan Whitaker who's standing behind me, my uh, younger brother Ian who's standing you know, over my left shoulder. Uh, we have my buddy Wes Green and then Jake Lurz uh, are the other co-owners and partners. We do a kind of a futuristic sci-fi focus on our events, um, so we chose that because honestly, um, if you do stuff in you know current times, you're kind of limited, but with our events, we can take it in really cool, unexpected directions. Each field we go to, we try and pick different biomes so they represent different planets, right? We can add different unique materials. We're really integrating technology a lot more. Um, so we're debuting a bunch of really cool stuff at our next event, Captivus, in April. Uh, so we have like remote hacking capabilities we're gonna put into our events. So we have like milestones players are driving towards. But <clears throat> something we really take a lot of, we're really proud of is that every action and outcome that happens in the event impacts the storyline and conditions for the next event. An example, at the end of event number one, the rebel leader was captured. So episode two went from, you know, we had a couple of different options and we picked the, the prison break. So now the rebels have to go break him out. Every event we're trying to add new elements. So for example, the technology, the big thing technology wise we had at event number one, uh, were hacking terminals. My, my partner Wes, he created these really awesome, uh, this, this program essentially, you'll go onto an actual device or computer um, and you'll play a game. When you play that game, you'll either get a, a reward, so it'll unlock something, it'll spit out a USB drive, it'll do something. But if you failed it, uh, it dropped a grenade on you and it would lock out. But now you can actually remotely access these terminals through your phone, right? And there will also be laptops. So um, the, uh, on the terminals there'll be a bunch of different options uh, and you'll be able to pick an option and those options all kind of lead towards um, one of the main objectives, we call them prime directives. So maybe it's codes for one of the prison cells, maybe it's uh, the code to turn off the prison light. We have a drone strike actually that's gonna debut at uh, episode two, so it's a, it's a, a drone. It will actually fire a tagging round when uh, the players call in for support, so Logan created that, he's the mad scientist. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff we have on the roadmap, and like I said, we're just getting started right now, but Every single event, we're gonna keep, everything is gonna funnel back in. We're gonna keep taking better and bigger steps. You can go to www.grimnirtactical.com. Um, you can check out uh, our storyline video. All of our events are there. We just put, launched our merch store uh, at the uh, in March. We got T-shirts. We got hoodies. Portions of the proceeds are gonna go to help the Green Beret Foundation, right? So we want to try and give back to various elements that in, in causes. So right now it's GBF. Uh, we're going to pick other ones down in the future. One of the things we talked about is we're, we were players first. Uh, we founded Grimnir Tactical really on the, the, the foundation of providing really good customer experience. Um, really, really friendly. We want to build a positive community. Um, and then we want to just keep this story going. We think we're doing something fairly unique. Um, we're really, really proud of it. Mm -hmm.